Uh, the first item that I have is in regards to the reappointment yeah. of Tommy Weldon to the Chambers County Recreational Board. Um, Mr. Weldon's been on the board for a number of years and he currently serves as the treasurer of the board. He does an excellent job. He keeps up with all the money uh, and provides the financial records uh, in regards to that. The Recreational Board uh, highly recommends him to the commission for it. Uh, motion. Second. Yeah, second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, All <coughs> the same side. Okay. Mr. McCoy? Yes, sir. Next, I have uh, in regards to the East Alabama Water Sewer and Fire Protection District. Uh, the district also recommends highly Ms. Yvonne Stanford for reappointment to the board. She's been on the board for uh, around 20 years now. She is a retired school teacher. And uh, she succeeded her husband, who was the prior member of the board, who was the past principal of Five Points uh, Elementary School. So, the Stanford comes highly recommended by East Alabama Board. Motion. Yeah. Motion and second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Next thing that I have, Mr. Chairman, in regards to the agenda items is the contract proposal for Mrs. Uh, Regina Chambers, uh, our county manager. Ms. Chambers has uh, been under a current contract that will actually expire on October 1 or September the 30th of this year. The proposed new contract would be for a three-year term and it would provide for compensation at $140,000 $177.23 uh, in the first year. There is a built-in 2.5% uh, uh, escalation clause that states that in the event the county commission afforded the remainder of the county employees with, with a uh, COLA raise that exceeded that, that she would be entitled to that. If not, she would be entitled to a minimum of 2.5% uh, annual raise. And that is included also in the current contract that she's fulfilling uh, as of September 30th. Um, in regards to that, I would need a motion to authorize the chairman uh, to execute the contract with Ms. Chambers to be effective October 1. So I'll move. make that motion. So a motion and a second. Any discussion? I'd just yeah. like to make a statement, Mr. Chair. I, I know that many of you were upstairs. We had a kind of a heated debate a while ago. Uh, I'd just like to say that I have great respect for everyone that I serve with as a county commission, and I do not want our debate to be a reflection on our county uh, manager. Uh, she is a good person. She, uh, I can't give her enough glowing reviews for how well she keeps all of our accounts in order, and uh, we didn't, wouldn't want to get rid of her for any reason in the world. And that was not about her, it's about procedure. And uh, Mr. Chair, I would just like to ask and remind our staff again to please get all items on the agenda prior to Friday afternoon. Because a number of these items were not on the agenda until I looked at it when I came to commission meeting. And uh, I do like to read the contracts, I do like to uh, look at what we're passing and give some thought to it. And so I just ask that we try to get everything on the agenda by Friday afternoon. That's all, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Uh, Any other discussion? Yes. Uh, I'd like to request a roll call vote, please. All right. Is that roll call vote. Commissioner District 1? Yes. 2? Yes. 3? Yes. 4? Yes. 5? Yes. 6? Yes. Unanimous. All right, moving right along, Attorney McCoy. Yes, sir. Uh, the next item that I have on the agenda is in regards to the Chattahoochee uh, New Moon Society contract. That contract comes back for renewal uh, as of October 1. Uh, the terms of that contract provide for the same amount of remuneration to the Chattahoochee Humane Society, $6,458.34 per month. Uh, which is the current contract rate. This will be a one-year contract. There are a couple of changes in the contract. One of the changes provides that in the event that they are required to maintain the animals for in excess of 14 days for criminal prosecution, that the rate for uh, uh, 
maintaining them after the 14 days would be $25 per day. That's raised up from the current rate, uh, which I think is 15. Uh, also, in regards to that, there's a provision that's been changed that says that in the event that an animal is uh, suffering from injuries that could be life-threatening, that animal, instead of being taken directly to the Humane Society, would be taken to a veterinarian uh, prior to uh, bringing the, the animal to the Chattahoochee Humane Society. So those are the two changes that have been in the proposed contract that you have for Question. Go ahead. Just Procedure. Yeah, procedure. Do the Make a motion. Do I have a motion? Second. Open for questions. Okay. Um, would we be would we incur the cost of that animal that went to the um, sheriff is shaking his head to the vet instead of to the pipe? Okay. Right. So we will start to incur a few other. Well, that's if costs. that's if we take the animal. We don't have an animal control officer, but every once in a while, sheriff's department does have to take them. That was really put in there for. Can I say it? Yes. For the cities, because they have they have brought animals in down there that have been struck by a car and brought them down there so the Humane Society was having to put the bill for that. And what they're trying to do is cut out some of that medical cost on them at the start. Okay. Okay, any other discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Hold same sign. Okay, Ms. Chambers, what is our meeting schedule for the next meeting? Uh, we just have a Ruby's Ways and Meetings Committee meeting on um, September the 9th, 8 o'clock Central Standard Time at Attorney McCoy's office. That's the only thing that I have thus far. And I'm going to ask that the work session for the next County Commission meeting start at 2.30. 2.30 Central Time, and you'll get that out to the press and all that. Okay, if there's nothing else this time, I'm going to ask that I get a motion that we go into executive action. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Y'all forgive me, I've got a lot of my mind right now. Staff reports, Ms. Chambers? Uh, nothing for us. Ma'am? Nothing for us. Okay. Turn McCoy? Nothing for us. Okay, Jerry Harvey? Yes, sir. Some updates on a few projects that are ongoing. Uh, obviously, everyone sees that the courthouse work is really picking up, so there will be some impacts to the people using the courthouse for the next several weeks as we um, finish those, this project. The expectation is to complete the project prior to Thanksgiving, so sometime during the first of November. On our roads, um, our crews, highway department crews, uh, special thanks to them. They've done an excellent job. on County Road 33 this morning. They will be moving from there to County Road 176, which is out towards the Lord's Mill community. Uh, we've got a little over a mile and a half of 176 that we're gonna reconstruct there near near a bridge, and, and, and I think it's, it should take us about a week, week and a half to finish that, assuming the uh, weather stays good. We'll move from there back to County Road 98. Hopefully, second half of next week is the plan. They should be completing all items on the bridge within the next couple of weeks. And our goal is to move in and within a week be able to open it up to traffic. So it's really going to be dependent upon the weather. Uh, there's rain forecast for next week right now. But hopefully the good weather will continue and we can get out there and get 98 open. I know a lot of people are really looking forward to that. Uh, from there, they'll move uh, out to uh, the next bridge that we have planned to replace out toward east of the Woods Mill area where we'll be doing our paving work. Uh, that's really, I think, the most pressing updates as far as our construction work. Any questions for Mr. Harvey? Okay, Mr. Harvey? We hadn't, we still got to accept bids on these three bridges, right? Yes. Yes, so all of those projects, especially, we, had, we went over, just so y'all know, I, I wrote this down. That was 27.95 miles of road improvements in one year and three bridge replacements. So, um, even the work that we do, we still have to bid the materials out. 
So we had two bid laws that we had to comply with on every construction job, so it works in competitive bid. So all the items that have contract have to be bid out per the public works law, and all the contracts that involve our labor and equipment, we have to bid out those materials. We're in the process of taking bids now on our material items. We'll generally contract the public works in the fall, usually December time frame is when we get those out. So we're going to work hard on the three bridges to get that out quick. I know we've got, uh, I believe it's Canada 46, where we have several uh, people that have been impacted by that bridge closure. So we're going to work as fast as we can to get those contracts out and those plans together. And that's what we're working on. Any other discussion? At this time, I would like a motion for us going to executive session to carry this good thing. So move. A motion and a second. Yeah. All in favor say aye. Aye. aye.